in the quiet town of Adams, Tennessee, among the rolling hills and serene landscapes, lies a chilling legend that has haunted the region for generations. The story of the Bell Witch. This tale of supernatural terror, rooted in real historical events, has captured the imagination of many. In this narrative, we will delve into the legend of the Bell Witch, a story that transcends time and place. Our story begins in the early 19th century when John Bell, a farmer along with his wife Lucy and their family, settled in the fertile lands of Robertson County, Tennessee. The Bells were well regarded in the community, known for their prosperity and upstanding character. However, their peaceful existence was soon to be disrupted by an entity that would become infamous as the Bell Witch. The strange occurrences that marked the start of the Bell Witch haunting began with inexplicable noises, odd sounds that echoed through the Bell homestead. It was as if unseen hands were dragging chains, banging on walls and knocking on doors. The source of these disturbances remained a mystery, but they escalated in intensity. Soon, the Bell family and their neighbors began to witness other peculiar events. Objects moved on their own, furniture was overturned, and the family heard whispers and voices that couldn't be traced back to a living person. In the dead of the night, the covers were ripped from Bell children's beds, and unseen forces slapped, scratched, and pulled their hair. As the haunting persisted, the entity behind these disturbances made itself known. It identified itself as Kate Bad's Witch, or simply Kate. Kate claimed to be the spirit entity with malicious intent, whose sole purpose was to torment John Bell and his family. Kate exhibited a deep knowledge of the Bell's private affairs, revealing secrets and using this information to sow discord among family members. The entity's actions were a chilling blend of mischievous pranks and malevolent cruelty. It seemed to take pleasure in the Bell family's suffering, targeting John Bell in particular. The torment continued to intensify as the Bell Witch's hold over the family tightened. John Bell Sr. bore the brunt of the attacks, suffering from severe physical ailments and a mysterious illness that was attributed to the entity's influence. Kate claimed responsibility for his suffering and took pride in tormenting him. News of the Bell Witch's reign of terror quickly spread throughout the community, and visitors from near and far came to witness the disturbances for themselves. The entity, however, proved to be elusive, often playing tricks on those who sought to confront it. The legend of the Bell Witch is just not a product of folklore. Many people who witnessed or experienced the haunting phenomena left behind testimonies that give credence to the legend. The most famous visitor to the Bell family was future president Andrew Jackson. He and his companions, curious about the stories they had heard, visited the Bell family. During their stay, they experienced paranormal events, and Jackson's wagon's wheels reportedly became stuck as they tried to leave. Some accounts claim that Jackson remarked, By the eternal, I'll have some fun. To which, the disembodied voice of Kate retorted with a furious curse. The Bell Witch's notoriety drew the attention of various reporters, scholars, and clergymen who came to investigate. Many of these individuals documented their experiences and encounters with the entity, adding to the historical record of the haunting. One of the most detailed accounts of the Bell Witch legend is found in the Red Book, written by Richard Williams Bell, a family member. This document provides a wealth of information about the haunting, its timeline, and its impact on the family and the community. The climax of the Bell Witch legend was the death of John Bell Sr. On December 20th, 1820, he passed away under mysterious circumstances, and Kate took credit for his demise. The entity's parting message was that, that it would return in seven years. True to its word, the entity resurfaced briefly in 1828, but eventually departed, leaving the Bell family in peace. The Bell Witch legend has sparked various theories and explanations over the years. Some have sought rational interpretation of the events. Skeptics have suggested that the Bell Witch haunting was a well-orchestrated hoax or that the family experienced psychosomatic illness, attributing physical ailments to psychological distress. Some have proposed that the natural phenomena, such as geological or environmental factors, may have contributed to the strange occurrences on the Bell Farm. 
Others believe that the Bellwitch events could be attributed to poltergeist activity, which often centers around individuals experiencing extreme emotional or psychological distress. Many, however, still hold that the Bellwitch haunting was a real malevolent entity and with supernatural powers. The legend of the Bellwitch continues to captivate the imagination of those who hear the tale. The Bellwitch Cave, which is located near the original Bell family homestead, remains a popular tourist attraction, drawing visitors interested in exploring the mystery and the history of the haunting. In the heart of Adams, Tennessee, the legacy of the Bellwitch endures, a chilling reminder of the supernatural events that once plagued the Bell family. The story has been passed down through the generations, maintaining the status as one of America's most enduring and eerie legends. The Bellwitch legend of Adams, Tennessee, tells of a malevolent entity, Kate, who tormented the Bell family in the early 19th century. Witnesses, including future president Andrew Jackson, attested to the strange and often terrifying events that transpired on the Bell farm. While explanations and theories exist, the legend of the Bell which remains an enduring part of American folklore, leaving behind a legacy of unexplained phenomena and supernatural encounters.